Albert Einstein famously said, Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. So in this video, I'm gonna share a one stock approach that when done correctly can get you on the dividend investing track and earn you $100,000 per year in dividends and up to a $1 million portfolio. Now, if you're not familiar with dividends, what it is, it's money paid directly to the investors out of the profit that the company makes. Now this is outside of the growth of the stock price. So anytime we buy a new share of stock in a dividend paying company, we're essentially giving ourselves a raise. Sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? And the best part is if you start this early enough, you'll not only engage the eighth wonder of the world, but you'll start that compound interest phenomenon. It's like a snowball that just keeps on growing and growing as the years go by. And if you start rolling a snowball like the kids in this video, just imagine the portfolio value and the dividend income that they're gonna earn when they turn 30. Holy crap. But even if you're in your 30s, you're a boomer or whatever, it doesn't really matter. If you start today, today, no matter how old you are, you start the snowball process. Don't let another day pass you by, my friend. Don't let another year become another year. Start today with as little money as you can invest and start that dividend growing process today. So I'm gonna show you two different things. The very first thing we're gonna look at is what happens if you just invest in any old stock without paying dividends. How much money does your initial investment grow over a long period of time? And then make sure you stick with me through the whole video because then I'm gonna break down what it looks like when you have a growth stock and then you layer in dividends that are reinvested in that company stock. This is a super way to get yourself up to $1 million or $100,000 a year in dividend paying income. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can calculate that so you can determine, hey, if I wanna make $100,000 a year, how long might that take? Or I want a $1 million portfolio so I can call myself a millionaire, how long will that take? We're gonna break it all down. So if you're ready to get started, tap that like button down below. Let's push this video out to more people. The like button helps us do that. And I certainly, certainly appreciate it. Let's help inspire more people to become future millionaires. Okay, so as always, I'm gonna pull up my iPad screen and right here we go. First thing we're gonna look at is just, let's say you invest in a stock and that stock doesn't pay a dividend, but it has the opportunity to grow over a long period of time. So here we are on nerdwallet.com. This is a free website. I'll include the link down in the description below if you wanna check it out for yourself. But let's take a look and uh, get this rocking and rolling. So the very first thing we need to look at is the initial deposit. Let's say you gather up yourself $5,000. Now, instead of throwing that $5,000 toward a brand new TV or a new car or something like that, you're gonna put it into the stock market. Here's what I'm gonna look at for my assumptions. I'm gonna put my initial deposit at $5,000. And then contributions right now, I'm gonna say zero, which means I'm gonna put my $5,000 into this stock and I'm not touching it for the rest of the 20 years that I'm gonna be growing this. Uh, estimated rate of return. Now, the stock market, the S&P 500, typically grows at a rate of about 10% growth over the long period of time. But I'm gonna go lower than that. I'm gonna say, hey, things aren't as rosy as we make it seem. We're only gonna grow at 5% rate of return, okay? and that compounds every year. Check out what happens to my $5,000 right over here. My future balance at the end of the 20 years grows to $13,267. Now, here's what gets super exciting about this. Look at the principal, that's the blue line. That is flat at $5,000 because again, we're not contributing any more money. 5,000, set it and forget it. All the green is the interest. And as that compounds, you can see it starts really trending upward. That's why I say if you wanna retire early or if you just wanna have power over your wealth, if you wanna live your sweet life, my friend, you gotta to start today and you gotta let it in there for the long term. But dividends, my friend, are really where it's at. You're gonna get compounded interest when you reinvest your dividends and you're gonna make dividend payments. This is so freaking cool, and I have an Excel spreadsheet to show you. So I'm gonna hop over to my iMac, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my Excel template and how you can start building yourself up to earn $100,000 per year in dividend payments and then build your portfolio to $1 million. It's a simple way to kind of look ahead and say, hey, if I wanna retire early, if I wanna kick it to the corporate America and say, I'm done, you have the power to make that decision and dividends and dividend stock investing is a great way you can do that. Here we go, let's hop on over. 
Okay, so I'm about to pull up my dividend calculator here on an Excel template. And by the way, I know you're gonna ask, how do I get this Excel template? Right now, I'm still working on it. I'm actually gonna look at creating a Patreon community. If you're interested in that, what I'll have is all of my spreadsheets in that community. It's just not ready quite yet. Once it is, I will include a link down below in the comments as well as in the description of this video. But right now, I'm still working on it, but I will have this available to you. But for now, what I wanna do is inspire you on why it's so important to get started today with your dividend portfolio. So here's what we got right now. This is the Sweet Life Money Dividend Growth Rate Calculator. What I'm gonna do for the purpose of this video, I'm actually gonna pull up my iPhone screen as well so you can check this out. Now, this is not financial advice. I'm not recommending this particular stock, but I just wanna use it as an example. So here we are at Coca-Cola. That is the dividend stock we're gonna take a look at because right now Coca-Cola does pay a dividend. I don't recommend putting all your eggs in one basket, but for the purpose of this calculator, I wanna make it easy to understand, especially for beginners. So what I'm gonna do is let's say you buy about, I don't know, 90 shares of Coca-Cola today. We know that the starting share price right up here is gonna be 5509 according to Robin Hood at the recording of this video. And you're gonna, to you're gonna get a total of 90 shares and the current dividend yield. Now, how you find that, you can certainly go here to Robinhood and you'll see that down below here, it has a dividend yield of 3.03. .03. But I also like to look online because I wanna make sure that I'm getting the most accurate information. Now, where I find the most accurate information is either on seekingalpha.com or finance.yahoo.com. I'm gonna use finance.yahoo.com for today. Type in KO, that's a ticker symbol for Coca-Cola. And I'm gonna look right down here and you can see, okay, so it's right around the same as what Robin Hood showed me, but it's 3.08%. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna apply it to this row right here, current dividend yield, 3.08%. I'm gonna leave the tax rate the way it is and then annual dividend percent increase. Now, most companies, what they wanna do is they wanna to continue to increase their dividend rate. They wanna get better and better and better because that is kind of what makes them a good company. They continue to increase their profits and they continue to increase the amount that they pass on to their investors onto their profit in the form of dividends. So I'm gonna say that the current uh, increase is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's a little bit lower at only 3%, all right? Annual distributions, Coca-Cola plays a dividend every quarter, so I'm gonna say they pay four times per year. And additional contributions. Now, I'm gonna leave that alone for now, and then we'll do an example where I actually contribute just like we did in the prior example. Right now, I'll leave that at zero. And then expected share price growth. Now, what did we do last time? 5% and then 10%? Let's do another 5% growth. We're gonna say that Coca-Cola is gonna to continue to grow by 5% every single year. Now this next row is important, dividends reinvested. Yes, we want to reinvest dividends. It's so important, it's called DRIP, Dividend Reinvestment Program. And that means every time that a share pays dividends, it's gonna take that and automatically reinvest it into the same stock for more shares. That is really where your snowball continues to accelerate. There's some other green areas that you can fill in. Your current age, how old are you? I'm gonna say that you're 20 years old, and if you are, Oh, get ready, you're gonna get so excited. And the year currently is 2021 at the recording of this video. So here we are. Now, I'm gonna zoom in because I want you to see how awesome this is. Now remember, we're not investing anymore. We're putting in about $5,000 and we're setting it and forgetting it, just like we did earlier. But look at this. At the age of 20, you own 90 shares of Coca-Cola. They're gonna pay a dollar per share, $1.70 per share, which means that you're gonna make $152.71. That's basically dividends times how many shares you own. So that's pretty darn good. And then look at your current balance. You're now at 5,087 and 90. That's both with the growth of the stock as well as the dividends reinvested. So that's all fine and dandy, right? But let's cut to the chase. Let's say in 20 years, you're now 40 years old and the year is 2041. So you're gonna now own 173.9 shares and that's because you continue to reinvest the dividends which means you bought more shares with the dividends you were receiving. You're now making $1,414 in dividend payments every year from Coca-Cola and check out your account balance at $26,621. That's how much portfolio value you have in Coca-Cola. That sounds kind of lame, right? Let's assume a little bit more magic. You're not just gonna put $5,000 in and forget it. You're gonna diversify, of course, but you're also gonna continue to invest. Let's say you do $1,200 per year. That is what you're gonna do. See how much this grows. Check it out. 
You now, at the age of 40 years old, at 2041, you're gonna earn $4,751 per year in dividends that continuously reinvest, and your portfolio balance is gonna be a whopping exciting $90,655. So that's a pretty good growth. You're growing from a typical $5,000 portfolio with about $100 a month to get yourself to $90,000 at the end of 20 years. Now, in the beginning of this video, I talked about how do you make a million dollars and $100,000 a year in dividend income? Well, there's a couple things. You can scroll down here and look for when that starts happening. So right here it is. At the age of 62 years old, if you're 20 years old now, in the year 2063, you will make $112,886 in yearly dividends. Not only that, a year earlier, at the age of 61, in 2062, you will have a $1 million portfolio. Now remember, my friend, the average retirement age is right around 65 years old. You're beating them to the punch. Not only are you going to be a millionaire, you are going to make $100,000 in dividend payments. Now, of course, this is one single stock, which I don't recommend doing. But if you diversify correctly, you're making $100,000 a year. You have a $1 million portfolio. And if you've been saving for retirement on the other end of that, you're going to be living pretty darn cool in your golden years. But you might be like, Bob, I don't want to wait to the age of 60. And oh, by the way, I'm not 20 years old, dude. I'm like 35 years old. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Let's plug in some additional figures. Now, I'm going to push you guys a little bit because you know I do that. Let's say you're the age of 35 and you know that if I scroll down here and I want to make $112,000 a year, I'm going to be 77 bloody years old. That's way too old. At $1 million, I got to wait till I'm the age of 76. That is way past the 65 year old retirement. This video sucks. Why am I watching this guy on YouTube? Just wait. I need to push you. I'm going to push myself. We're both in this boat together. I'm in my 30s, by the way, if you were wondering. So I'm not 20 either. I want you to figure out a way to make $1,000 a month. Now granted, yes, you can start cutting your bills back. If you're buying a bunch of garbage out there like Starbucks, extra crap, things you don't need, get out of that trap. Pay down your debt so you have more power from your income. But beyond just your income, beyond just your job, find a way to get side hustles going, to get passive income going so that you can earn an additional $1,000 per month. And it's so important, especially if you're in your 30s or older, to scale up your income. There's so many different ways to find work these days at home or on the go or whatever that you can scale your income up. And it's so vitally important. So let's say you find a way to get $1,000 a month that you can invest in a dividend paying stock. And we'll take our current example and we'll take it to the next level. So we know that $1,000 per month is $12,000 per year. So you're going to start off with your typical investment that we looked at earlier, which is 5509 share price of Coca-Cola and 90 shares. We'll leave everything else the same except for this part right here. You're going to invest $12,000 per year into this dividend paying stock. Look what happens. You are gonna have your $100,000 payment at the age of 63. In 2049, you're gonna make $100,000 a year, and look how early your $1 million portfolio shows up at the age of 59. $1 million. You, my friend, are a millionaire at the age of 59, and you're making $100,000 in extra dividend payments just for the fact that you own the share of stock. Do you see how cool this is? Now, some of you might be sitting here like, dude, what is wrong with this guy? It's so old, man. I don't want to wait that long to become a millionaire. Look, these are very, very conservative approaches. Look at what we did here. 5%? Are you kidding me? 5% expected share growth? That, hey, remember the S&P grows at an average rate of 10%. I'm cutting it 50%. I'm saying we're failing by 50%. And look at this sad annual dividend percentage growth. Coca-Cola is much higher than that. But again, I'm taking it slow. I'm making it seem like things aren't going as well as they seem. Because if they get better, I'm rolling in more money than I expected. And there's nothing wrong with that. So the point is, number one, start as early as you can. The earlier you start, the faster you become a wealthy millionaire that makes $100,000 a year in dividend income. Number two, if you're not starting early, scale up a way to get more money into your investments. Not just one single stock. This is just an example. But get more money pushed into the stock market, into your investment portfolio, so you can continue to scale up. If you're wasting your time, if you're wasting your money on new car purchases, on a bunch of budgetary things that aren't really truly bringing you joy for the long term, but only are bringing you joy for the short term, your future self is gonna be sad. And I want your future self 
to live the ultimate sweet life. The eighth wonder of the world, as Albert Einstein called it. Now you understand why it's so cool, right? Dividends can take you from the average life to the sweet life. Give yourself a raise, start today. Links down below to help you get started. And make sure you subscribe for more awesome personal finance content coming right here to the channel. Here's some other videos that you might find helpful, but until next time, we'll see you on the next video.